There are two types of circumstellar discs. The protoplanetary disc is a young disc that the disc of gas and dust surrounds the star as it becomes a protostar. It can be an accretion disc, as we saw, saw with the uh, definition of the FU Ori stars. Uh, material at the inner edge of that disc can dump material onto the surface of the protostar and increase the mass of the protostar. Uh, the other disc, kind of circumstellar disc, are the debris discs, and these form after the protoplanetary disc, so they're further away from the star. There's no accretion going on there from the, from the debris disc onto the protostar, but there is accretion taking place within the disc, because this is where clumps of material get together, accrete, form planetesimals, which then can form future planets. There are five individual planets uh, in the deep sky um, category this year. There's WASP 18b, 51 Pegasi b, and WASP 43b that are all hot Jupiters. There is HAT P11b, which is an exo-Neptune gas giant. And then there is this bizarre little critter called HD 106906b, which is called a planetary mass object because they're still not quite sure what it is. Uh, WASP uh, 18b, the hot Jupiter, has 10 Jupiter masses, and it orbits its parent star in less than one day. And it is so close and so large that it's actually changing the internal structure of the parent star it's by decreasing its magnetic field. So this particular star is acting much, much older than its estimated age. Uh, 51 Pegasi b, another hot Jupiter, is the first exoplanet that was detected orbiting a sun, very, uh, a, a star very similar to our sun. And it's also the very first exoplanet that was detected using spectroscopy in visible light. HD 106906b, uh, the planetary object, is kind of a strange critter. It doesn't seem to fit any current theories of planet formation. It's 11 Jupiter masses, and it orbits at a distance that is 650 times more distant than the Earth from the Sun. So that far out, planets cannot form by accretion. There's not enough material. The orbital time would be too slow. There's just not that much material out there. It would take too long. So it's thought that maybe this started out as a binary star system. One star collapsed into a protostar and became a star, but the other progenitor clump just simply did not have enough mass for it to form a star, and therefore it collapsed into a planet instead. So in the future, we'll know more uh, about this particular object. WASP-43b is also a hot Jupiter. This one is interesting also. Um, it is the same size as Jupiter, but twice its mass. It has a 19-hour orbit, and it's tidally locked. Uh, it has a lot of winds, and the speed of the winds on this particular hot Jupiter are uh, about uh, as strong as the speed of sound. It has a dayside temperature of 1,500 Celsius, and at nighttime that dropped to 500 Celsius. And the transmission spectra, which was used throughout its entire orbital period, was used to produce a very detailed map of the temperature of the cloud layers and the distribution of the water vapor uh, in, in the, along the surface uh, of this and the atmosphere of this particular planet. So that's been studied also uh, by several missions. Hat P11b is the exo-Neptune uh, gas giant. It has been studied, uh, a combination study, in tandem with uh, Hubble and Spitzer and Kepler. It is blanketed in H2O vapor and hydrogen gas, and there are other unidentified molecules uh, that are in the atmosphere, and the re reason that this one is being uh, observed and analyzed uh, so much by these three missions is that they are, in this particular planet, the upper, um, upper atmosphere is cloud-free, so it's easier to see down to the lower atmospheric layers of this particular planet, 
And so they're looking to see if they can actually detect and identify the molecules that are in that atmosphere. And then that would lead to finding molecules in small, smaller Earth-like kind of exoplanets later on. Uh, there are three star and planet systems, 55 Cancri, HR8799, AD95086, GD165, and Kepler186. Uh, 55 Cancri is a uh, parent star that is very close to the size of our own sun, and it has five planets around it, and four of those planets um, orbit at a distance that is closer to the parent star than the Earth is to the Sun. So it's a very crowded planetary uh, population close to the parent star. Uh, HR 8799 we had last year. It is a 1.4 solar mass uh, parent star with a debris disk that has four massive planets orbiting the, the central star. And these planets plus Fomalot B were the very first exoplanets that were um, detected using um, direct imaging, confirmed using direct imaging. It, the, the, the star itself has a very complicated spectrum. For some reason, it has a temperature that would put it as a, as a spectral type F, main sequence star. Uh, but it has very strong absorption lines that would make it an A, uh, spectral class main sequence star, so there's a lot of interesting stuff going on here, and they are still, of course, trying to determine all of that information. 